This is an A star A level computer science question. Complete the Kagan map below to simplify the expression Q. What I like to do always is that I split out this equation in terms of where the OR is, like so. And we look at the first expression, we're gonna put a one where A is one and not B, that means B is zero. So wherever we see one zero on the top heading, that's where we're gonna put one. And then we look at this expression when A is zero, when C is one and where D is one over here and then we also have to find where 1 1 is so over here even this satisfies that so we mark those as 1 as well now we look at the last one both of them are 1 so a b is 1 and that's all of this what we have to do now is group all we can see is that we can group this large group of ones here it satisfies the condition because it's a group of uh, two, four, six, eight. And one other group that you can create is this group over here. And now from the first group, what we need to see is the values over here, which corresponds to A and they don't change. And since it's one, we're gonna write the value of A. Now we look at the second one, which is one zero. The value for B changes, so we don't write that down. And over here, the column for C changes, zero, zero, one, one and even the column for D changes, so we don't write it down. Now, let's look at the overlapping box, and the value for that is A, which definitely change, and even the values for B change, so we don't write that down. Now we look at C, and the values for C is one, we look at just this value, and obviously since it's just one thing that we're looking at, that does not change, therefore we write down C, and the value for D is one, so we write that down as well. And that's gonna be C and, because it's part of the same group. For the first box, we're gonna write an or to combine both of the boxes. Were you able to get this correct?